Hey, good evening. It's Sunday night, 10.30. Uh, just said good night to Kenan. We had a nice old-fashioned steak night tonight. We still have a Christmas tree up because lazy. We're not taking it down yet until next weekend. Um, it's been a really busy weekend. Kind of a lot of house chores and catch up, a little bit of work. We had an FOC for our owners club board meet yesterday, uh, which has kept me very busy rewriting a welcome letter or amending and editing a welcome letter, sending that out to the fellow board members, taking feedback, making adjustments, things like that. Um, yesterday, I got a bunch of clips setting up a new Mac. It's a temporary Mac. My uh, primary 2021 M1 Max MacBook Pro. Uh, we've got a couple issues with that. So sometime around the holidays, like Christmas Eve or something, I, I was sipping a grapefruit juice cocktail and I dribbled in my old age. Um, a little bit of grapefruit juice down onto the computer. It was like literally three drops. I thought, no big deal. I left it there a second. I wiped it up off the keyboard. Well, apparently one drop landed halfway on and halfway off the left shift key. And apparently the left tab key or the tab key as well. So a little bit of that sugar from, I imagine, the grapefruit juice got underneath the key and created a really mushy feeling key that didn't click or pop up or spring up as it should. So I waited a day or two, it didn't improve. I tried some compressed air, obviously no difference. Um, I looked up a video on how to remove that key very carefully, which is a significantly more complicated procedure than I imagined. I took the key off, cleaned it in the sink, soap and water, and then took a little bit of rubbing alcohol on a Q-tip to the mechanics underneath the key cap. Um, wasn't really dirty under there, but I cleaned everything to the best of my ability. I put the key back on and uh, it was good for like three days and then no good anymore, just mushy again. And then I couldn't get it off the second time and it was a pain in the ass to put back on. So I thought, nope, this isn't gonna work. So it is off to, I don't know, San Francisco or Texas or wherever they send those things for uh, repair now. And in the meantime, I just went into the Apple store yesterday, Saturday and said to the sales guy, you know, give me the best 16 inch MacBook Pro you have, whatever it is, M3 Max, I don't care what color it is, just, and he's like, right on, man. He gives me this fist pump. He's complimenting my watch. He's like, this is the best sale of the day. I don't know if they're commission-based or what they are, but um, great to work with. And it'll be something that, you know, when I get my other, my real Mac back, I think I will decide that I, I don't need two Macs and it just didn't work out for me to have two computers and I'll make a return within the 14 day return period. I've done this a couple times. They don't offer loaner machines unless you are a Apple business partner, um, which I looked into and it's totally cost prohibitive for a business of my size. They want like annual dues or something. You have to buy so many machines, whatever it is, it's, it's not even in the realm of possibilities. So that's going to be where we are. The only difference I noticed with this 16 inch 2023 M3 Max is that it's it's like space black instead of space gray. It's a lot darker, um, which in the photos I really didn't like. It looked like a PC. It looked like a Dell or an HP PC to me. In person, it doesn't look like that at all. You can tell it's darker. Um, it still has the black keyboard backing, which I honestly didn't love on the 2021 Mac, though I've gotten used to that. Um, I could absolutely live with that. My concern, and we're getting real nerdy here, is my 2021 M1 Max MacBook Pro is space gray. And I'm noticing on a couple of like corners, edges around the machine, the palm rest, um, places where the screen makes contact with the top case, it ever so slightly starts to wear and fade. And you can tell like, oh, this has been, um, it's not painted, but whatever process it is, does start to wear off, the finish wears off. And you can see some of the lighter aluminum through it. So I'm thinking with my next Mac, I might actually go back to silver, which would be really weird because I have not had a straight silver Mac now since, um, I mean, since they offered the black, once they went to the, the space gray, I was like, yeah, let's do the space gray. It looks cool. So we'll see. Otherwise, today was a day of going to Ralph's, going to Costco, cleaning up some stuff around the house. We had brunch here at the house today, nothing fancy. That's all I got for today. I've got a busy week ahead. I've got a physical exam tomorrow as part of my health insurance required by the state. Cannot wait. That's going to be super fun. Good waste of two hours tomorrow morning. Uh, we'll get that out of the way and then up to the shop, back to work. We've got a lot of projects going on. I'll clean in more tomorrow. Hope you had a good weekend. Night.